just about to get to um, our lead artist Marta. Gonna pick her up and um, yeah, start the new window painting job. And that is with Penguin Random House, so the book publishers. And we're painting on behalf of Terry Pratchett and his latest book, A Stroke of the Pen. We're actually all up and down the country for this video. Um, last week we're in Bath, today we're in Oxford. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes of this video, um, of these window painting projects. Uh, and what it's like as an artist, like, you know, traveling up and down the country to paint these windows, what is involved. So um, if you wanna see that, make sure you like and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Look forward to showing you the window painting progress. I'm not. I got a new GoPro. Sorry, it is. <sighs> Finally made it to Oxford and the first job of the day is to really find out where the center point of that window is. We've got some beautiful typography that's going to sit in the middle of that window. So it's extra important that we mark out that center point, make sure we're working towards that center point. So after we found that all important center point, it's pretty much about that sketch phrase, making sure everything's in all those beautiful illustrations from the book cover, bringing them out and onto the window itself. So as you can see here, I'm kind of looking at a digital design saying that, okay, on the bottom left hand side, there's this guitar, it's like a lute, and this is gonna be here, and then just above that, there's something else. So that initial sketch phrase allows us to work out where all these different window elements are gonna be. So the bookstore that we're painting for is called Blackwells. They're a British academic book retailer, and they're owned by Waterstones, which is a massive bookstore here in the UK. The store is absolutely amazing. There's books and comics and posters everywhere. Fortunately, you didn't get time to have a proper look around it's definitely one of those stores where you'll be happy to get lost in now that we pretty much mapped out where everything's going in the window it's time to get those solid white shapes in that we can create a strong layer for those next colorful layers to go on and by doing this you actually make the piece a lot brighter and it makes the piece stand out from afar already some people walking past they're kind of like looking and saying okay what's going on here something's happening but it's quite nice because at the end of the day the same people might walk past a few hours later and really see the piece come to life here i'm getting those last bits of white in i had to change brushes at this point because the bit that i'm doing is a typography and i want to make sure that all my white is inside the my sketch layer and here it is pretty much everything's covered in white we started the first layers of color on top of the white and i think that first coat of color is really just about making sure that all those white elements are covered and that you can't see them anymore and that way if you stand back from afar you just see one flat base color and it's really flexible at this point because then you can say okay you know what i'm going to add some shadows here some highlight here and this text is actually a really good example of layering because once that first initial gray layer is on there's pretty much just one layer of shadow and one layer of highlight. And you can really start to see that 3D effect come to life. Now this is a really gothic style typography and it really complements having a shadow layer on it and the highlight layer. In this image, I'm kind of showing you exactly where those shadows will go, cross-referencing the digital design and the original typography as well. Um, I know that this typography is already center from where I've sketched it out. But at this point, it's just about kind of like building those layers and really start making that typography come to life. After that shadow layer, gonna put the highlight layer in and that typography is pretty much done. At this point, I'm pretty hungry. So get some lunch for the team and then also some camera problems get rid of that quite quickly and now back to the painting realize that there's still one layer to fill in that blue solid layer for the gnome's hat and afterwards it starts to feel a little bit more like a fine art piece adding those shadows and highlights and really start to work into the piece to make it come to life adding those finer details into for example this holly is finally looking like where it should be so the window painting is going really well actually just finishing the last little touches but really hope you enjoyed seeing some of the clips from behind the scenes of this installation here in Oxford as you can see literally putting those fire details martyrs down there painting the gnome got typography in say Pratchett 
shadow and highlight just like the original text and then on this side we've got some of the illustrations from the book cover which is just in there it's great day notes we had loads of positive comments we had, we had one person say that they're gonna go and buy the book as a christmas present as well watch these final clips as we start putting those final little bits of detail in and completing this piece of window art advertising Hey you, yes you, are you an artist watching this video and think to themselves, I would absolutely love to start painting windows, then why not download our free window painting trade secrets ebook where we let you in on the top 10 trade secrets from qualified window artists so that you can learn how to paint beautiful windows like these. Check out the link in the description. And there we have it, here is the final window painting. That's it guys, we have finished our work here in Oxford and as you can see, what a beautiful piece of window art advertising it is. If you really like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to support us out on Instagram at We The Seeds Agency where you'll be able to see all the different selections of different window art advertising that we produced all over the country. Had a really exciting campaign here in Oxford. This is part two of six. We've got six of these windows to install but we had a really great job um, really exciting time here. We had a great engagement, a lot of people talking about it, a lot of people taking photos, a lot of people sharing it over on social media. So make sure you like and subscribe to this video and don't forget to follow us on socials. We're going to enjoy a nice drive back, get some food and um, yeah, I think early night for the next window tomorrow. Thanks for watching and take care till next time.